monarchy looms in Nigeria. The president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has revealed that he never foreseen the challenges that before Nigeria as of today. Wow. Before the 2023 general election, he was in chartered house and he delegated question thrown at him to his team. And he said it's going to be a teamwork when he assumed office as a president. Eventually, he maneuvered his will into becoming the 16th president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And now that the problem are there, he's finding it very difficult to actually pilot the affair of the country. He said in a time that he has the capacity. Me, I want to pursue my ambition without the title of a kingmaker. I have the confidence, the vision, the capacity to rule, build on the foundation of Mr. President. You know, to govern the country. And he never sees Peter Obi and Atikul Abubakar of PDP as any better candidate or even qualified for that office when he was interviewed by the BBC. But nine months down the line, he is now telling us that he never foreseen those circumstances that surround Nigeria as of today. One of the things that this APC-led government and Tinubu administration fail to understand is that Nigeria is a multi-dimensional ethnic group. You know, that Kenneth Okonkwo once said, Nigeria is a multi-ethnic, multi-religious, multinational society. And you have to factor in every interest and you have to employ the utilitarian school of thought in your decisions and law and this school of thought says you must look at how you will achieve the greatest happiness of all for the greatest number of people whenever you want to make a policy so if you are doing any policy that has six geopolitical zones your aim is for geopolitical zones and the ball. This government in terms of appointment is just concentrating, not even on Southwest, on the Lagos axis of the Jagabanic proteges, tainted with the Emilaka philosophy. You can only be able to manage situation and not rushing hastily to take decision. And one of the wrong steps that Tinubu made was the removal of the fuel subsidy. Remember that while he was campaigning, he never answered any question or make any kind of promises to Nigerians rather than it is his own turn to be the president. And nine months down the line, a woman who is pregnant for nine months is supposed to deliver a bouncing baby boy or girl. But what we have here is what Kenneth Okonkwo referred to as wife is pregnant and after the pangs of childbirth she gave birth to a monster would you rejoice all their policies have been given birth to monsters not children you told us first subsidy is gone and after punishing the people the first subsidy is remaining what have you given birth to monster so this whole thing is something that we should understand right from the onset that these people never plan well or mean well or even plan to govern the country properly they only wanted to hijack the power or be into office and claim that yes, they have arrived. And now that they have the platform, they are now finding it very difficult. Peter Obi always said, I know the problem and the challenges in Nigeria and I will deal with it decisively. But then he was not given the opportunity. Some said, if Peter Obi is given the fair chance, he will defeat anyone in the world to become the president in a sale environment. But unfortunately, here we are today with a president who never foresee the circumstances that befall Nigeria. Oh, I thought he said he was going to take responsibility, but now he's still blabbing. Anyway, what do you think? Let's have a look at the comment section. Thank you for watching.